Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with a second episode of our Rise of Shibuti. That's right, in Hearts of Iron 4, the Millennium Dawn mod. So starting out, as you can see, we've made some serious progress. Uh, we have taken over Ethiopia, we have done a few things in regards to uh, explaining how we got to this point, but we haven't actually fought a war. The next target on our list is Kenya. Kenya seems to have a decent sized military with high organization, but uh, a lot of their units are not fully staffed, and I think that's something that we can take advantage of. We are still trying to uh, get more main battle tanks to not only train new ones, but to reinforce the uh, divisions that are already in place and also to upgrade the current batch to the advanced generation three main battle tanks so we've got a quite a few things on a plate so we're gonna go ahead and start pressing play and to let time pass by Ooh, we have those weapons we've also got a lot of stuff that we've got to research as well a uh, Djibouti surprisingly enough has had a very successful researching uh, program like we we have a majority of the things that we need in terms of technology we are pretty much up to date we're not really advanced uh, in anything we are behind in a few areas uh, especially naval technology we are pretty far behind in naval technology we just recently got 2000 and 2002 frigates and corvettes and so on so we're pretty far behind in a lot of areas but we're doing our best to catch up we're getting missile cruiser threes 2006 we're four years behind on that which is not that bad and you know the good thing is we actually haven't generated the most world tension by conquering the countries around us the united states has actually done that which is interesting look barack obama is still in office so we're going to just keep ourselves on a good level with them because we don't exactly uh want to be on bad terms with the united states of america How's Russia doing? Did we ever actually ask to join faction? No, because the uh, the world tension is not high enough uh, for us to do that. And Putin is still in power, which is no surprise at all. All right. So most things pretty much aren't changing. Most things aren't haven't really occurred uh, at this point. Taking a look at our air force, we need to move those planes further south. We just upgraded infrastructure. So some other things that I've been toying with is if we actually want to, yeah, we're going to want to increase infrastructure. So like on the national tree though, we're going to take a look at this for a second. Um, I've been debating on mobilizing the female workforce. Doing that would increase factory output by plus 35%, but would decrease the monthly population. Uh, airline scandal. Oh no, we will put an end to this. Increase our stability. Uh, however, if we get birth control programs, it'll get rid of the insane birth rate that we currently have, which is something I actually very much like, which let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is right here. Uh, insane birth rate would decrease our population uh, rate basically by 125% per month, but it would decrease the amount of research time and it would decrease the amount of um, uh, consumer factories that we currently are using which honestly is only at 14 percent if we took out uh, it would take it down by four percent to eight bring it down to eight percent so basically we'd probably get a, a factory out of that that would be one additional uh, civilian factory we would be able to use i don't know if it's that big of a deal honestly um how much are resources our resources are pretty bad right now yeah we're gonna need aluminium and oil yeah that's right um, let's look. Well, it's saving. Hold on a second. Alright, there we go. So, aluminum factory. Well, we're definitely going to need that, but we also need oil. Um, oil is something that we're kind of struggling with, but we did get that. Alright. Sorry, I'm like, kind of like, going a million miles a second at all the different topics I'm considering in my head right now. Um, that's one of the things when I play this game on times five. You know, I'm sure a lot of other people do it much better than me, but, you know, you're here to see this. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, love you, booze. Uh, let's see, what am I going to do? Um, I kind of want to get that advanced CIM software. It's a, We're doing it a year in advance, but might as well be advanced in some areas, am I right? We will have nukes here pretty soon, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so that's something we could use against people, should we need to. I don't really think nukes are going to play that big of a role. In, in all honesty, I want to avoid using nukes, if at all possible. Uh, I'm not too keen on using nukes against people. Um, let's see, but we do need resources. So, again, we have chrome. We need chromium. 
Uh, we need oil. We need aluminum. We need rubber and tungsten. Um, let's see. Let's actually go to our production lines and see where the shortages are coming up. So the chromium is mostly coming up on the Missile Cruiser 2. Uh, but we do not have any boats, so it wouldn't exactly be a bad idea to kind of put some priority towards that. Um, but we need more chromium, too, to build more tanks. We need more oil to build more tanks as well. Um, honestly, it seems like that kind of solved it for us. I guess we should just go ahead and build a chromium. We need oil the most, I think, but might as well just go ahead and go for the chromium factory. And we will build one synthetic refinery there in uh, the capital of Djibouti. We are still building some stuff anyway. We're building infrastructure in Tigray and Afar, Ethiopia, Gambela, and Somali. Um, so it's going to be some time before that's all completed. Well, this one's just getting done quickly. It'll be done on the 17th of January. That's right. All right. So while all that other stuff is happening... We can further consider our situation with uh, Kenya. So they've got two motorized infantry types, one uh, armored brigade, as it looks like here. Yeah, and we can actually see the composition of their units. Two tanks, three uh, motorized infantry. What's in the motorized infantry? Wow, okay, so their armies are actually kind of big. Like, they're meaty. They just have a lot of units inside of them. So that is mildly concerning. But the Sandland Liberators are still probably the most effective unit uh, in Africa, honestly. Like, with the amount of the amount of tankage they rolling up in. What's our reliability? I need to look at that. It's probably pretty low. Uh, where does it say it? I don't see it. I don't see it. Am I blind? There it is. Reliability 0%. Well, that's no point at all. So, we basically know what we got to do there. We got to increase... Our maintenance companies because we can't have a zero percent reliability that is just uh, un unacceptable like our tanks are, at that point our tanks are literally breaking down before they even get to the front line that's obscene absolutely obscene we might actually have to edit this a bit more maybe get rid of one of these tanks I didn't think we'd have to but if our reliability is at zero percent that's not good at all. Actually, you know what? We might have to go in and edit the tanks uh, themselves. So, let's click on the Advanced Gen 3 MBT. Uh, yeah, and we're going to take a look at him. We need to... Well, his reliability is, here is, is high. So, maybe it's just talking about the bonus. So, basically, just getting a plus 35% bonus. Well, if that's the case, then look. we like. I mean, it's already 85%, so that would actually be pretty good. That's something we don't really need to affect. Um, but we can spend some additional points making our tanks just more effective overall. Giving them more soft attack, giving them more armor, giving them more heart attack, and giving them more piercing. Uh, we could do that. Uh, I don't know if we should, though. I don't think it matters too much right now. Again, I don't feel like most of the African powers are really doing a very good job of fighting against us anyway. So, I mean, I'm not overly concerned about what they're... Uh, attempting to do uh, they're just they're just not as technologically advanced as we are at this point in time they definitely are not fielding the types of tanks we have on the battlefield uh, so all things considered I'm not overly concerned about what they're doing we are gonna put that at the top though the Ethiopia well let's put that at the top once that gets finished then the chromium factory will get produced it's gonna take 600 days to produce the factory that's a long time well, 600 days uh, producing it with only one factory, I guess, which is reasonable. How, about, how fast is this building? This will be done in seven days. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We do need more factories, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that until we actually just push onward and take more territory. So, that's basically what we're going to have to do. Um... What I'm also going to do is, you know what, we're going to mobilize the female workforce. We're going to get a minus 5% to the monthly population. But I really, really want that plus 35% in factory um, production. That that is That output is ridiculous. And for the great land of Djibouti, undoubtedly, we're going to need it. That's right. So that's uh, something that we're going to do. Uh, now keep in mind, I do plan on trying to do this series for a little while. So, if uh, some of the episodes seem kind of slow, don't be surprised. Uh, one of the big things about Hearts of Iron is there's a lot of, uh, you know, background stuff going on, essentially. 
Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. There's a strong possibility that it's not going to move all that quickly. Oh my god, look at all these Jin fighters. We got Jin 3, Jin 4, Jin 5. These must have been Ethiopian airplanes that we got. So we're basically going to put all those into one fighter wing. And uh, we're going to fly them over Kenya. Now, we're not going to do anything right now, but we do have a pretty decent air force flying over Kenya. So they know that we're here and they, and, well, ready to fly over Kenya anyway. We're not actually going to put any uh, missions up because that would just be no bueno. So that's something that we will keep in mind. Um, you know, we should actually probably do something like this. Mikoyan. The Fukushima disaster. We could probably get Lockheed Martin. Air research time minus 15. Um, honestly, we need to get on good relations with somebody like... Um, no, not them. Probably medium aircraft or light air. No, it would be light aircraft. So, BAE Systems Air. I don't know who that is. Is that... Uh, I guess that might be the English. I don't remember. I'm not sure. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not too overly concerned about it. Oh, look, the Russian Navy. Minus 20%. Yeah, let's do that. Definitely bring down our research times. Because our research times currently in naval uh, research is pretty horrible. So getting that knocked out of the way would be quite uh, a good idea. But, uh, yeah, anyway, like I was saying previously bef before I got distracted, you guys know I have a horrible, horrible uh, uh, thing. I get distracted so easily. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But uh, anyway, so basically the situation that we're faced with is uh, we do want to attack Kenya, but building up the appropriate number of men is kind of integral to the success we will have if we decide to go into Kenya. Um, looking at the numbers now and the, uh, the information at the bottom here, it clearly is showing that the Kenyans are much stronger than us, which is really scary. Um, if we're, if that means we're actually going to be able to beat these guys. So that's something that I'm genuinely concerned about and something that I want to kind of keep in mind as we go forward. Uh, we need to make sure that we're not getting curb stomped into non-existence, if you know what I mean. Um, do, do we want to do that? You know, I kind of want to do that. Add a signal company to it, but it decreases. It does not decrease organization, so we're actually going to do that. Because our organization right now is only 14.5. Honestly, these divisions are very poorly organized. But uh, I'm not too concerned about it. You know, we'll we'll take what we can get. Uh, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much happy with the effectiveness of these divisions thus far. As long as we don't lose too many tanks, we're good. And as long as the war doesn't drag on, we're good. If the war drags on, we might actually run into some trouble. So that's something we need to keep in mind as well. Uh, let's see, air superior, definitely air superiority. Well, I don't know, maybe ground support. Yeah, let's do let's do ground support integration. Nah, nah, nah. Let's do air superiority plus twenty percent. <laughs> I'm so well. I guess you could do both. So we'll just go ahead and get both. There we go. Let's freaking roll, baby. All right, what's out of date? Oh, this boat. Well, that's not good. Uh, two hundred eighty. That makes you lose two hundred eighty-two days. Well, I guess that's just what's gotta happen. There's no point to build a ship if it's going to take us 17 years anyway. No point to build a ship that's out of date already. All right, so we are now producing enough chromium. And uh, we have mobilized the female workforce. Um, so what else are we going to do? Are we going to do interventionism? Probably. I don't see any point to do anything other than interventionism. Uh, is there anything down here we can research? Well, we could go further into, like, monarchism. Uh, we could go... I guess we actually should just go ahead and go. I'm a f the reason I haven't done this yet is because of the massive decrease in uh, stability by doing so. Um, we could unify the nation, which gives us, decreases our recruitable population, but gives us plus 15 on our division organization. Uh, and I don't like the decrease in the recruitable population. Honestly, that's kind of the, the, the killer for me. Because we already have so few troops to choose from that we can't really do that. That's actually why I, I kind of wish I had gone down the communism tree now. Uh, because the communism tree, as per usual, gives you plenty of dudes to recruit from and decreases stuff. So we're just going to go with monarchism. 
and just start going down that line. It gives us a minus 25%. Uh, to justifying war goals, which is something that we really, really need to do. Uh, we need to get that out of the way. And research is complete once again. All right, so what are we going to research this time? Uh, well, it's 2011, and it'll be a while before we need tanks. But we could research Gen 4 main battle tanks within four years. Uh, well, two years, really, within two years, but be six years ahead of research. I think we're going to do that, actually. We're going we're gonna to research Gen 4 main battle tanks. Because I really, really, really like having uh, massively advanced tanks on the front line uh, to fight against all the enemies that pose a threat to us. As it were. We actually probably should recruit some more infantry brigades, but I haven't really done a whole lot with infantry brigades. Um, their organization is not bad. We might actually want to add some military police. I think military police increases organization. No, it doesn't. It decreases it, but it adds a lot of other additional bonuses, which are incredibly useful. So we're going to do that. We're going to add that to our already existing infantry divisions. Now that we actually have enough troops to spare, we can actually start messing around with uh, how our infantry divisions are set up. And artillery decreases soft attack by 85. Rocket artillery by 72.5 but adds additional breakthrough uh, and not much else honestly you know what we're gonna go with what is our current soft attack of these divisions uh, heart attack 17309 so pretty strong actually we're gonna give them two additional artillery pieces in our infantry divisions and we're gonna resupply because I think we have if I'm not mistaken we have plenty of our, yeah we have 6,000 pieces of artillery just hanging out and we're still producing eight of uh, almost nine of them a day so we have more than enough advanced artillery to keep our troops on the front line fully upgraded and ready for battle now and kinda what I'm thinking is artillery does slow down your your divisions as a whole so kind of the way that I'm looking at it is although the divisions are being slowed down uh, by the artillery they're packing enough punch that it doesn't even matter and honestly our tanks are so fast that they make up the speed uh, so we don't have to worry too much about that one thing we do need to be concerned about right now though is we do actually need to increase our uh, support equipment production because with by increasing all we've been adding a, an additional uh, support division or support companies to our divisions so that's going to make it to where we need more of those in the long run but let's go ahead and train some more infantry divisions and we'll be training two of them and we want them to basically spawn in at Somali now what do they need they need support I imagine yeah they're gonna need more support no big deal no big deal and uh, do we have like what is this like do we have a bunch of motorized tanks where are we getting these from oh we just have 6.4 thousand of them in storage i guess we took those from the ethiopians as well i don't remember that must have uh, that's the only way i see how we uh got that because i pretty much don't have those all right you know what other line i feel like i should have gone down now i feel like i should have gone down this line we could still swap over to that though now that we're not actually in war we could hypothetically monarchism all right we got monarchism Go further down the line. Our stability is going to decrease by 10. But our stability is so high that I'm not too concerned about it. Um, we could go ahead and try to shoot for the FAMAS. Uh, but probably not. Green laser interdiction system. Yeah, let's go ahead and research that. We're basically just trying to get a bunch of technology that's further on down the line that we do not have. Sweet Djibouti needs good night vision goggles. I'm just saying. Just saying. And uh, what else do we need to do? What else? How are things? How are things going, my sweet, sweet soldiers? Well, things are pretty good on the front, you know. We're just hanging out, uh, killing some people, having fun, you know, having a good day. It's so fun. It's all, it's all pretty good. All right, so we just got some additional fighters. Like, we have, we, we have a lot of, like, the equivalent of F-22 Raptors. I'm just saying. We got a lot of them. It's only 2011, and we pretty much have more F-22s than the United States does. That's how we roll, baby. They should actually probably, if uh, they modify this mod a bit, if a Gen 5 multi-role fighter is what that's supposed to be, they should actually probably make those planes cheaper. Uh, or more, I'm not cheaper, sorry. Uh, significantly more expensive. Because in, in the current 
means of the game, essentially, uh, it, it just it seems kind of strange, if, uh, if you know what I mean. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, what else can we do? Honestly, a lot of what we're doing right now is just waiting. Uh, and most of my talking is just filler to make things happen. And to make sure I feel comfortable with our fight. Because at this moment in time, I'm not 100% sure I'm ready to go into battle with the Kenyans. Uh, because I don't really know entirely what they have. Like, what in God's name? That one Marine Division has 10 Marine companies. Holy mother of God. That is huge. Jesus. Wow, okay, so the Kenyans are packing some serious infantry numbers. Like, they're, they're, they're just, their unit numbers in these, these divisions are ridiculous. Like, they're absolutely ridiculous. So that basically means we need to make sure for a fact we have lots of soft attack when we go in and we we kind of pop them in the face with our sweet, delicious tanks. Um, we could add light tanks to that, but I don't really have any light tanks built. And honestly, modern tanks are just so much better. There's I see no real reason for that. Um, I don't want to decrease the speed of my tanks. I want to keep them rolling along just fine and it looks like we just got nukes oh yeah <laughs> so we have our first nuclear warhead ladies and gentlemen that's right and we've only got 17 divisions uh let me make sure all those are combined yeah they are all right so i don't even know if we have enough divisions to fight those guys but we are going to have three more divisions pop up here very soon uh that are currently getting trained uh, the only thing we're missing is support equipment, which is being produced as quickly as possible. Um, actually, I'm going to decrease. Okay, I'm going to decrease. There we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and since we got plenty of guns, we're actually going to decrease one of those. Actually, let's decrease a couple of those. We really don't need a bunch of guns right now. Uh, we have 33,000 sitting in storage, not getting used. We have 6,500 pieces of artillery sitting in storage, not getting used. Really what we need the most right now is we need some support equipment and we need more tanks. And I mean, we're still producing 2.33 pretty much Abrams a day. We're producing like an M1A2 Abrams and like we still don't quite have enough. Good God. Alright, and we do that. Justify war got wartime will decrease. So now we can pretty much go to war with Kenya and once we finish that anyway. And a period of time that will not be four hundred days. Let's say we want to go to Yesi, four hundred and fifty days. That's a long time to want to go to war with somebody to have to wait. I'm not fond of that at all, frankly. And you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and buy Mikhailian. We've got like a million dollars. We are not we are not limited in terms of how much money we actually have. Uh, service by requirement. That would actually be a pretty good one to get, but I don't think we're going to do that. We don't really have any decisions we can do currently, uh, unfortunately. Uh, ground support integration just finished. Good. We'll slow the game down. We'll pause it anyway. All right. And we'll go down. What should we go down? Do I have all the plans I need? Gen 5. It would be four years in advance. Yeah, it'd take us roughly three years. I don't want to do that. Um, industry. I really want to kind of keep improving industry. But there's nothing that's been increasing. Well, this one would. Advanced robots. That would be really useful to have right now. Um, what else? What else is pretty useful? Uh, honestly, just this. or I mean this. That one and that one is really what we need the most future industrial robots because basically we need more max factories in a province uh, which is currently something we're struggling with uh, oh well here we go here's a bunch of technologies we can get yeah we definitely need to improve our support divisions if we can no reason not to and battlefield support is finished boom so actually that's what we're gonna go we're gonna go back over to the support companies and increase them Make them more effective for our sweet Djiboutian armies. I want to roll over this border and just completely curb stomp anyone who stands in my way. Yes. That doesn't sound too brutal, does it? No, it's fine. It's fine. Well, it looks like we're just going to drive right over their territory. We don't even care. They'll catch the guy eventually. Start a manhunt. No, we need to reform our prison system, ladies. That is what we need to do. The people of Djibouti must be happy to be citizens of Djibouti. 
Yeah. We're monarchist. Yeah. Marcus Taylor is still the, the leader of our great country. The greatest country in the world. The great country of Djibouti. And, uh, well, now we have 18 dudes. What is this? So, where, where are we at? Alright, well, these recruiting more. We're still upgrading everything. So, we've almost completed upgrading all of our main battle tanks. Uh, we're still increasing. We're still reinforcing the front lines. So, that's one thing that's occurring. We're almost done with the support equipment. We've almost caught up with that. <laughs> we are producing five a day. So, hopefully, we should be done with that within the next ten days. Alright, good. So then we can go back to previous levels of production and other areas. Um, I almost think that we should continue adding more uh, infantry brigades to our army. We can produce them pretty quickly. And we actually have all that excess stuff. And it's only 8,100 manpower per one. I'm just, again, I'm so gun shy about losing so many troops. So that's something I'm, I'm particularly scared about. Uh, if we lose too many troops, it's 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 not good for us at all. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Uh, we're still creating tanks. We need to put the highest priority on the tanks to reinforcements. We need to get these these support equipment, and we need to get the main battle tanks on the front line like now. Yeah, there we go. All right, that took so long. And then the other priority is in. Um, upgrading the tanks so producing new divisions can wait for now on the tanks uh, we just need to make sure that all the other things have been met and replaced because i basically when i roll over this border with kenya i want to steamroll them so hard oh that's right oh, we're still getting the values of old come on now give me that weekly national unity of plus 20 percent then if we actually start doing that we can raise taxes back up to to, we could actually raise it to very high, which would be perfect because our national unity is already like maxed out. But it would give us the minus three to consumer goods factories. We would get factory output of plus 10%, plus 30% political power gain, which doesn't even matter at this point, and minus 7% research time. So that's pretty much, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and do that. In, well, how many more days? Three days? Two? Two days? So yeah, two days. Yeah, we're probably just about to go ahead and do that. One more day. All right, let's go ahead and do it now. Boom! Oh, okay, there we just had to autosave. All right, good. So now we're not losing anymore, but we is in a much better place. I am happy with this. I am happy with how that turned out. All right, and let's go ahead and get jet engine or advanced rocket engines. <laughs> the assumption being that we don't already have it, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Hilarious, hilarious. Um, alright, what other stuff do we need to do? I don't really care about a lot of this other stuff. I really don't. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I guess we could go for artillery focus? Uh, get the artillery stuff out of the way? Again, not that big of a deal to me. Um, we could increase this. Yeah, definitely want to increase the additional reliability we get, uh, from that. And honestly, I think we're just about ready. So let's go ahead and set all of our units up. Well, we still have to wait for these two additional divisions. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and deploy them. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm not too concerned about them getting fully trained. They're going to get their experience on the battlefield. So delete all orders. Set up on the border there. Most of the units are already ready. And uh, we're going to set a plan. Basically to beat Nairobi in not too long. So, this is what we plan on doing. This seems like a pretty good plan. I feel comfortable with our population. The only thing that we're struggling with is resource production. Aluminum is surprisingly low. Um, but, but the things that are using aluminum aren't that big of a deal. Uh, it's mostly just this artillery, which we're still producing plenty of it. Honestly, the airplane is the one thing that I care the most about, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we're going to put the support equipment back below Gen 5 multi-role fighters. Um, yeah, honestly, we just got to keep building tanks. Like, we need to build tanks faster. You'd think we'd, we've we kind of hit the pinnacle of tank building technology in Djibouti, but nope. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, so, that is one thing to keep in mind. 
but we do have all of our dudes on the front lines now. So I do think we are just about ready to go to war with Kenya. The odds are stacked heavily against us. Uh, it says that the Kenyan forces are much stronger than ours. Um, but frankly, I don't believe that. I think that we can take the Kenyans in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Especially because I'm a better commander than they are. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, they're not in allies with anyone, so that's good. They're just improving relations. Yeah, that's right. You factionless bastards. So we're going to go ahead and start... Um, justifying war against Kenya. By the time that's done, we should have at least three additional uh, divisions ready for the fight, and hopefully everything will be fully equipped and ready for battle. So, yeah. Oh, and we, we finished building that stuff. Well, that's cool. Alright, uh, so I guess we could build an aluminum thingy now, if we wanted to, since aluminum is struggling so hard. Well, what else is struggling? Uh, oil. Especially oil. Oil, you'll never... I never seem to be able to get enough oil. Mainly, it's just aluminum. We need more aluminum. Aluminium. Uh, that's something we could do. I kind of want to build radar stations uh, out of Gimbella. So we'll do that. And we're actually going to fortify the perimeter. Yeah, because Somalia, right there on the border between Somalia and Kenya, is already heavily, heavily uh, fortified. So... I would like to see them come through there. They could try. They could fail. <laughs> but they can try. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And I think that's as good a place of any to call this one for today. Uh, I'm not really going to make you sit and watch through the justification period. I'm just going to kind of do it. Um, and any additional things that occur will just be mentioned in the next video. Um, again, for the most part, there's there's a lot of dead space with uh, Hearts of Iron games. There's just tends to be because a lot of it is about the build up, and then that massive build up eventually leads to an insanely disgusting war uh, that's really fun to play. And that's the main thing I want you guys to see in this series is the fighting, uh, us coming and beating the crap out of other powers who think they're good enough to take us on, which they're not. Uh, what's going on here? The United States went to war with Belarus, so that's, uh, that is something you don't see every day. Yeah, so the, the world is becoming an interestingly warring place. Wait a minute, are, are the Russians and the, oh, oh, that is interesting, to say the least. It looks like a world war has actually broken out right here at the end of the video. Maybe this happened earlier and I just didn't notice. But the United States is fighting Russia and Russia is kind of getting curb stomped as we speak. Like this is, they are the, the Americans are not wasting any time at all. Good lord. That is, that is interesting. So now is better time than ever to attack the Kenyans because no one will be paying attention to them. Or so we hope. <laughs> so we hope. So, anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series thus far. I hope you will continue to enjoy this series and, uh, and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube junk. And uh, I'll see you next time.